snap off and land on my head. I hope so. Do it. It won't do any. It won't do any fucking damage. So we are down in South Wales. We are here for British Downhill Series round one. We've got an eight rider strong turnout with the team, so gonna be good. Stop that, this guy. I'd say we're excited to get on track tomorrow. It's pretty wet, pretty boggy. It's going to be interesting to see how it rides. Part of me is thinking it's going to be good fun. The other part of me is thinking it might rut up and clag up and be a bit shit. So let's go into it open-minded in the morning, see what we find. Hopefully the event will run well. With the British National, you never know which way it's going to go. So um, optimistic, but let's see. <laughs> So it's going to be interesting this weekend, first national with uh, three youth riders on the team and all three of them are really good riders so I'm hoping to see some podiums from the boys, uh, they're good friends, it's going to be interesting to see them pushing each other so that's going to be a good category for us. Um, and then in junior we've got Tom and Theo, first year juniors, Theo's carried an injury, Tom as we've seen in episode three just back from his uh, skiing trip so um, still kind of getting used to the bike and riding again so let's just uh, see how they get on, um, Oscar obviously broke his collarbone in Portugal which is about four weeks ago so first proper time back on a bike for him and it's going to be a pretty sketchy pretty technical track so let's just see how we go in junior and then obviously there's myself and Ruben in, in elite um, I'm pretty focused on the Portugal Cup myself um, I'm only doing one of these British nationals and the track does look a bit slippy and a bit whatever so still open-minded about whether I'm going to slip into team manager mode this weekend and uh, let's see what, what I decide um, Ruben needs to keep working on what he's working on um, this track totally changes the tone of what we've been used to in Portugal. We've been used to dry, fast. The track's got loads of flow out there, uh, whereas here it's the opposite. It's wet, it's slippy. The flow is going to be taken away from you every time you make a mistake. So it's going to be good practice for him working on what we're working on in these different conditions. Hi, my name's Matthew, um, co-founder of TY Vibe Products and developer of uh, our complete range of products, starting with the uh, tyre yoghurt, which is a latex and ammonia-free tyre sealing. Jack um, came on his first downhill weekend and stayed with us when my eldest, who's now 19, was two. So Jack's first downhill experience was at Amsterdam Forest and we were staying um, at Teesside in a caravan glamping, not really. And, uh, and yeah, that was uh, our first uh, riding trip together. But I've known Jack since he was probably 16 when he was working for the cycle rig um, in Upper Mill. So we've known each other for a very long time. Um, all the products that we supply, um, so it's everything from the tyre yoghurt through to the eco lube to the, um, the eco-friendly dirt-free bike cleaner, um, valves for the bikes, uh, valve caps. Um, so it's the full range of products that we, uh, that we stock um, and we've been helping Jack for the last um, two or three seasons. How's the injury feeling? Yeah, it's pretty good to be fair. Uh, got loads of tape up now, so nice. pretty supportive, yeah. Not too much pain though, so. First time back on the bike properly. Yeah, we can get down. Yeah, so, probably just. So for like the last two years, I've been working for uh, Polygon. As like, first year was just uh, my main mechanic, and second year went to like head mechanic. Uh, it's been absolutely mint. Like, nearly didn't have a ride this year, and uh, obviously got on board with like Jack and his program, and pretty stoked with it. Soon as finished, soon as finished high school, 
I went straight into uh, into a bike shop. So at like 16 years old, uh, and I'm basically just been in and out of bike shop up until now when I'm 30 years old. Uh, race a lot myself. I've not really had a chance to like be hands on with anything yet. So this weekend is like the first weekend being like around the whole program. Wow, what a day! So. This morning started a little strange. We went up the first run and after a little bit of a queue at the bottom, we then got held at the top for about 45 minutes. It's freezing cold, there been some red flags because of these crashes. And so by the time we got on the track, um, it was almost like 12 o'clock. I'm just kidding. And then there were just loads of crashes when we were coming down, so more red flags, some serious injuries. So um, I actually managed to get down ahead of the last injury where there's some of the boys, Ruben, and uh, most of them, to be honest, were stuck behind a red flag and ended up held on the track for like a half an hour. So by the time we had lunch, we had done one week. The track was super muddy, super technical, a lot of people were struggling with it. So to be honest, in my mind, I was wondering like if they were even going to have to like, cancel the event or something. Like it just didn't seem to be working. So, um, but then things got going, did second run behind Tom Weske, did a follow camp for him, which is, uh, I think would be a close preview for Pig Bike. So that was a laugh, Tom was riding really well, it's his third run, my second run. He rode real well, got some good lines, that kind of uh, in, uh, improved my own personal kind of uh, enthusiasm for the day, should we say. So um, off the back of that, then did two more runs and uh, felt decent. So uh, bikes riding real well, all the good lines. It feels really smooth. Whenever I've ridden bikes here, I felt like they hang up on every day. This thing just feels like it's just accelerating and tracking the ground really nicely. So, yeah, all in all, solid enough day. I think between us, we've only ended up four runs or five runs. As I say, Tom's going well. Ruben's a bit sick, so he's doing what he can, like not feeling well. So we meet all, uh, all singing, all dancing again in Portugal next week. Um, yeah, everybody's out either on the Tacky Channel or Magic Mary. The track's real rocky, so you wouldn't want a mud tire here. A dirty dam would be too much. It wouldn't roll particularly well if it shut rocks. So. Taki Chan, to be honest, I do wonder if that's part of the reason my bike feels so good here. Um, that tyre is just absolutely unreal, it just gives such good edge grip. Um, so, a few of the technical parts, I just feel like I've just got full grip that I need. So, um, you know, we're either all on Taki Chan's or some people are still on Magic Aries. Um, both tyres work well in these conditions. So, so yeah. So obviously I've, uh, last weekend I was here practicing, a bit of early practice and really hurt my sh uh, shoulder in Star Wars. So then I sort of tried to get that rehab through the week but it was very like unpredictable and yesterday I had a big stack and just hurt it again so I thought I wouldn't risk racing and uh, hopefully back stronger for Port Bill. Okay, yeah, so we woke up, sun was shining, and the day was good this morning for practice. Got a couple of runs in, the track was uh, was all right. Kind of wasn't as wet as yesterday, so the mud was getting wiped onto the roots and the rocks, and they were getting a bit a bit slippier, so it was more certainly more technical. Uh, ruts were deep, R really challenging track, really, like very, very technically uh, difficult. Um, and then qualifying, lots of red flags, more delays. By the time it was the leads were at the top, we then waited, I think, for about an hour at the top before anything started. Um, it's 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30
and uh, I think only a few riders have come down on their race runs in the earlier categories. Uh, we're still wondering what's going on, whether they're going to cancel the race and have qualifying results as race runs or whether they're going to push for everybody to do a race run. Um, but obviously, for myself, going to Portugal tomorrow, we've got camp. Um, I don't feel comfortable pushing in those conditions. I don't want to push in those conditions anymore. One of the main reasons I retired is so that I don't have to race in conditions or in environments I don't want to. So um, I am only looking at today's where I can lose. Um, even if I go there and cruise down, which is what I did in Quali, um, I could hurt myself and we could be looking at not being able to coach in Portugal next week. And obviously I want to race the Portugal Cup next weekend. So for myself, I'm going to draw a line under it and not go back up, whatever. We're still waiting to find out whether the event as a whole is going to be cancelled. Uh, so it may not, it may be um, irrelevant what I actually decide to do. Ruben didn't do his qualifying, he's got a bug, he feels shit. Um, didn't go up there, made the sensible decision to not risk it ahead of Portugal next week. Poor Oscar's had another crash on his rerun of a qualifying. He got red flagged in his first one, went back to the top. He's then had a crash, re-injured his shoulder. We're not sure what's going on, so they're packing up to get him off to hospital. Um, Tom Westgate had a crash in quality, so he's keen to do his race run if uh, things go ahead to kind of uh, build on that. Hayden got a puncture in his quality, still did a really solid time, 321. So um, if he can keep air in his tyres and not have any mishaps, I think he'll do really well today. Uh, and then Josh and Seb both didn't have great quality runs. So there, those three youth riders are at the top waiting to drop in. Um, I think whatever happens, they'll get a run and we'll see what times they do. And whether after those categories are down, they decide to go ahead with the UCI categories, we'll see. But either way, we're going to start packing up, get on the road because it's half four, we've got a five hour drive and a flight to Portugal tomorrow. So uh, for me, I've decided risk to, re risk to reward is definitely not worth going up the hill again. Um, and uh, yeah, enough's enough for me. Let's see how the youths get on. Hey. All right, so my uh, decision did actually mean nothing in the end. A couple of minutes later, we found out the race was cancelled, so we've gone off the qualifying runs. So uh, that's it for British National Round 1. Um, unfortunately, as we've seen, the way the event's gone, um, that's why we don't do a lot of these. We race in Portugal and we're going to do that excesses because come all the way down to South Wales, six hours driving, a load of money. I think I've done seven runs. Uh, track not particularly prepped very well. There are certain things going on that are out of people's hands with uh, the weather and things like that, but ultimately I think, uh, yeah, it's uh, not the best time for, for British racing at the moment. And, uh, you know, that's uh, one of the reasons why we don't do many of these. So, heading off home now um, and on a plane tomorrow out to Portugal to do another camp at Ventoso and then go to the Azores Islands for the next race. So, yeah, Thanks. See you in episode five. See you in episode five.